You know what it's like to have someone hate you out of pure jealousy? We'll get you the paper. Do you know what it's like? To watch someone else get all the attention when you know that you're twice the person they are? She's not getting that paper. I'm not saying that I haven't been charmed by Harvey, but it's just so patronizing when you say that he can handle those things and Lewis, you can only handle this. Jessica, I could have handled Gerald Tate. And I told you I disagree. Why? Because, because when you put two bullies in the same room together, things generally don't go so well. It's 9.30, nice of you to show up two hours after we open for business. And I see that you're also trying to look like a pimp. My bad, Lewis. I was out late last night. And when I woke up, this is the suit your wife picked out for me. And that would be funny if I'd actually been married. Moving along. You're not married? So we conquer all, oh, he likes men. My favorite part. You don't know the lyrics, do you? I don't even know the lyrics, Lewis. Are we practicing law down here? We're auditioning a chorus line. It's called the Spurry Decor, and I just got a $100 million jury award overturned. I don't have to overturn awards like that because I've never lost one in the first place. <laughs> you took Mike Ross on a field trip today? Yeah. Aside from subjecting him to you in a towel, what happened? Well, I beat him in straight sets, if that's what you get. Don't play dumb, Lewis. Tell me what you did to him. What are you, jealous? Harvey, come on. The kid is starving for a mentor. Someone to give him some advice. So maybe if you just took the I'm time. telling you right now, you try to move in on him. Harvey, where is this coming Harvey, from? Harvey, I've got the outside counsel for Velocity on the line. Put him through. I didn't leave you out of anything. I mean, I thought we were a team. I thought this was the start of something, but I... Lewis? Now Lewis. I see the truth all too clearly. Lewis, I was walking by and they called me in. Yeah, just in time to take the credit for what I did. I didn't do that. I wouldn't even think of doing that. But you know what? You would, and that's your problem right there. They remind me of a younger, less attractive you and me. Please don't say things like that. And I know that you rigged the lottery so that Mike would get Kyle. Please ring, expedite, and they're all just words. Besides, don't you want to see what your boy's made of? Talking bet? Three's a number. Yeah. Usual amount. I believe we have a wager. If you hadn't gone to Stenzel behind my back, this wouldn't have happened. You don't know that. And I'm a member of this firm just as much as you. I think we both agree that you're a member. For your information, I didn't Lewis. even... Lewis! Harvey, I on the ball. The issue here is you tried to torpedo a client. The client is McKernan Motors, not Stenzel. You didn't let me finish. Without my consent, that trumps the who's the client part. Lewis? Go to Stencil and repair the relationship. Say what you have to. Call it a misunderstanding. Promise Harvey is no longer involved. Consider it done. Lewis, has anyone told you you're an exquisite soprano? What do you want, Harvey? You're right. Why prolong my suffering? I need you to get me in to see Judge Palermo. You need my help, and you're not going to pull rank on me? Your case has nothing to do with firm business, does it? What's it gonna take? A mani-pedi? Tickets to Celine? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. And your pound of flesh? If I need my back scratched, I'll let you know. Lewis, unless that's a metaphor, the deal's off. If we lose this case, I doubt that her generosity is going to extend to us. I would... In my office, bring the Clarity Drilling IPO. Jerome Jensen's here. Come on. Mm -hmm. Lucille's case is all hands on deck, Harvey. You can't just... I can, and I am. I thought we were working on this together. Yeah, we are, Lewis. Same way a golfer and his caddy work together. Be that as it may, we are deposing Elliot Perkins in 15 minutes, so- Perkins can wait. Just make sure that my nine iron is nice and shiny when I get there, okay? Come on, Mike. So, I just spoke to Judge Palermo, and because he thinks I'm a good guy, and I told him I owe him one, your case is gonna be moved up way ahead. Back scratch. I don't have a firstborn, you know, so what exactly do you want for that? Now, you're not getting one of my ties. No. Your shoulder, what? Get the pet. Donna? <laughs> Robert, what the hell happened to Perkins? Ask that pit bull of yours. Uh, oh no, actually, I prefer a female masseuse. That, can I call you right back? Right back. Okay, bye. Perkins just got wheeled out on a stretcher. Well, he couldn't handle the heat. He's probably faking it. What were you thinking starting that deposition without me? I don't know, maybe if you were doing your job. 
Oh, no. What? It's from Geller. Perkins wasn't faking anything. Our best chance to nail Anthony Maslow is dead. Hey. I get that you were upset that I was promoted before you, but if you ever threaten to fire one of my guys again, I am going to kick your ass. Hmm. What are you talking about? What do you want, Lewis? Well, I think now that we're working together, we should set some ground rules. First rule, never touch my records or anything else in this office. Fine. That includes the furniture. I'm trying to build a rapport with you. OK? I mean, I think a relationship needs a little work. Let's hold off the couple's counseling until our fifth anniversary, don't you think? Speak of the devil. Her Majesty's here to see you. I heard that. You were meant to. Gentlemen. Your Highness. OK, you know what? That's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> to be mocked? No, to set clear ground rules to keep the negotiation above board. Absolutely. No kicking, no biting, and no rabbit punches. And now you're mocking the ground rules. No, I'm just mocking you. Point one, we both agree to use the independent valuations. Absolutely. Good point. Point two, you do not call Jessica in to mediate. This is you and me. You afraid mom's going to take my side? No, I know mom's going to take your side. Because I'd be right. Point three, Chinese wall. You can't access any internal documents that I create. Let's make Jessica proud. We do this right, everyone walks away happy. Wonderful. Don't worry, we'll still crush. I heard that. You were meant to. Care to make a wager? Our job is to make both sisters happy. How do we know who wins? Well, no. Harvey, what are you doing? Rachel's services are under my purview. Sorry, I'm gonna change that. Anthony Maslow and his attorney are in the conference room. At whose invitation? Oh, what, you think I called him? You, I, I didn't. Then Maslow feels he has an advantage, and he's pressing it. Norma, where is he? What? You're kidding. What? I come here when I need to be alone. 44 Magnum? Really? Feeling lucky today, punk? No, I understand. But that me pissing the bed on this case must be really, really fun for you. No, Lewis, it's not. The one thing you and I have in common is we need to win. I noticed that. I came here because even after everything, we can win. No. I can watch while you win. Lewis, I'm not here to give you shit. Listen, I respect you. I bribed the witness. You incentivized her. I went to see Perkins' widow. To apologize. I killed a man. That you thought had it coming. I don't think you heard what I said. I respect you. What the hell are you doing? I was deposing the widow, just like you. I came here to pay my respects and initiate a relationship, not aggravate a grieving woman. No, I brought flowers. You just cost us a potential witness. Oh, really? Well, maybe maybe if you shared your game plan with me. Oh, I've... the same way that you shared your game plan with me? How do you expect her to react to seeing you? You need to get your shit together and find us a new witness. Harvey, I won. His play acting by the fax machine, that was so obvious. I found out Kelsey owned United International. I thought if they wanted the paper so badly, how much would they overpay for it? 50%. <laughs> Harvey, you overpaid 50% for a business so buried in expenses from the employee deals that I made. It could barely stay afloat. And then all I had to do was convince Madison to sit back, have fun, watch her sister fail miserably. I won. Your client got what she wanted. So did ours. Jessica asked to make everyone happy. Everyone's happy. It's a draw. Just hold on a second. You tell me the truth right now. This is this a win to you? Fine, Lewis. You win. You were a step ahead. You got Mike. Ten days. You think I want him now? I just wiped the floor with him. 